working today. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm Sammy and this is Tommy. We have spent the last two weeks road tripping through Transylvania, Romania. We explored ancient castles and fortresses. We drove through some of the most beautiful countryside and mountain roads and met some amazing people and animals along the way. Oh my gosh, she's coming up here. <laughs> oh, baby. If you missed our Romanian series, make sure you go back and check it out. This area is so gorgeous. We had such an awesome time and we were already planning another road trip to return to this beautiful country. We wanted to say thank you to all the Romanians who watched our last series. Your support and suggestions are going to make our next Romania series even better. That's why I'm so excited. Why are you so excited, Sammy? Because we're going to Turkey today. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this since the beginning of our trip. Oh, it actually came up. When we arrived to Istanbul, we didn't plan on making a specific video. We filmed a few things here and there, but the city is way too magnificent and way too unique not to share some of our highlights. Istanbul is the largest city in Turkey and the country's economic, cultural, and historic center. The city straddles the Bosphorus Strait and lies in both Europe and Asia, with a population of over 15 million residents. We first visited the neighborhood Sultanahmet, which is the center of old Istanbul, where we enjoyed our first Turkish omelet. So we just found a place for breakfast. We're gonna have some Turkish omelets and some coffee. Breakfast first, and then we're gonna go explore. It doesn't look the most appetizing, but it tastes really good. So far, so good. So we just had our first Turkish rug salesman experience. <laughs> We've gotten called into a lot of places, but that one, he was very adamant. Sammy got suckered in. 30 <laughs> minutes later, we did not buy a rug. Sir, please do not roll out another rug. He said, oh no, we're just having fun here. <laughs> but when they say, where are you from? Like, how do you ignore when you're a polite person? Hurts my soul to be rude. <laughs> After breakfast, we stumbled into the ancient Hippodrome. So I'm a little confused of what a Hippodrome actually is. I believe in the Byzantine era, all the emperors used to come here and this used to be an arena. So it used to be decorated with statues and these obelisks and there's still three of them behind me here. They seem so much history. There was chariot races, gladiator fights, and nowadays it's just a meeting point and a really cool park overlooking all the main sites. From the Hippodrome, you can see the famous Hagia Sophia displaying its Byzantine mosaics. You are also able to see the Blue Mosque. The Blue Mosque is one of Istanbul's most iconic historic sites and an essential part of the city's skyline with its six magnificent minarets. This mosque was built between 1609 and 1616. The 
mosque's upper levels are also painted blue with natural light flooding in from the more than 200 stained glass windows. So it's actually not called the Blue Mosque because it's blue on the outside. It's because on the inside, there's over 20,000 little hand-painted tiles that are blue. So we saw the Hippodrome and we saw the Blue Mosque. The last thing we were gonna go to was the Hagia Sophia, but the lines were crazy long. We just didn't wanna wait in them. We heard that it was super beautiful inside and we've seen pictures. Now we're gonna go find some lunch. During our stroll near the Bosphorus, we tried a local yummy snack called a Simit. Bread with toasted sesame seeds. We enjoyed it while watching the local fishermen. Sam, we just bought herself a little scarf. My first purchase at the bazaar, probably my only one, but yeah, love it. And me buying more scarves. Two more scarves, three scarves. How much you paid this time? Ten. Way cheap. It's my first time here. Don't judge me. Thank you, sir. So it's a holiday today, so the Grand Bazaar is closed and the spice market was mostly closed as well. We just found a little restaurant to try the Turkish tea out here. Oh, afternoon pick me up. So they didn't have Turkish tea, so I got the next best thing. Salud. Can I get a lemonade? Day, we visited the Basilica Cistern. It is the largest surviving Byzantine cistern in Istanbul. We got our tickets to the Basilica Cistern. It was constructed using 336 columns, many of which were salvaged from ruined temples and feature fine carved capitals. I always forget to make a wish. I get so much pressure over throwing it. Salute, baby. Salute. To Istanbul. Mm -hmm. So the Grand Bazaar is one of the oldest and largest covered markets in the entire world. It has over 60 covered streets, over 4,000 shops, and it gets between 250,000 to 400,000 visitors every single day, and it's packed today. <laughs> I just got my 
my first souvenir of the day. It's the evil eye keychain, so it's supposed to protect you from danger. So we didn't last very long in the Grand Bazaar. It's all enclosed and a lot of people smoke. Just too crowded, way too many people for us. After that, we had to back across the Bosphorus to our Airbnb. This place is massive. So this is the master bedroom here, which is huge, has huge closet space, really, really comfortable bed. So we have a huge dining room, massive living room with lots of light. She even left us the commuter cards, like four of them. Our kitchen, which has everything you can need, tea, coffee pot, and she left us fruits and breads and eggs in the fridge. Then we have a huge modern bathroom, which I'm very excited about. And we have even a little bit of a balcony up here. So that is our huge Airbnb in Istanbul for $40. So we just went to the ATM and they have no money left, only tens. This is the lowest bill you can get and we have, how many lyrics did we get? 400. Oh, we have 400. 400 of these bad boys. Ooh, look at that stack. Like $2 bills. Can I go to the club tonight? <laughs> so we found a place for breakfast. We were looking around all Old Town. I think this is Old Town, right? Maybe not Old Town. Cancel that. Rewind. Do it again. We just found a place for breakfast. We looked. So we just, just. Okay, right. And it houses these two Medusa heads that were. I need to start over. It was just really cool to go underground on a really hot day. It was really cool under under there and it was fun to go see. Look at me. Just looking out the window. 